We present MakerWare, a new construction kit that allows young children to build their own interactive wearables using tangible, plug-and-play modules. With only a few components, children are able to build a wide range of designs. Designs that are sensitive to changing environments, reactive to their body and movement, and that mediate social interaction. MakerWare consists of hexagonal modules. Each module has one input and three outputs. Modules process their input and send new signals to all three outputs based on pre-programmed behaviors. This enables creations to easily extend and branch into non-linear designs. There are five types of modules. Actions translate signals into perceptual forms such as sound, light, and vibration. Sensors sense and translate phenomena such as light levels, heart rate, and physical movement into electronic signals. Modifiers transform signals into other types of signals, for example inverters and faders. Miscellaneous modules such as wires and tiny breadboards. And power, which provides power to creations. Modules snap into these hexagonal sockets that provide power, electronic connections, as well as an easy method to attach and remove modules to clothes. Clothes such as shirts, scarves, hats, and backpacks. Every design in MakerWare must start with a power module. Connections are made by matching the input and output triangles, for example to turn on a light. Then by adding a modifier, in this case a volume knob, we can modify the signal that travels to subsequent modules. To add interactivity, we need to add a sensor to our design. In this case, let's replace the volume knob with a distance sensor. The distance sensor modifies its output signal proportional to sense distance. We can easily add other actions such as the sound maker or the spinner which work instantly as soon as they are placed. It's easy to create completely different interactive behaviors simply by using new combinations of modules. For example, let's replace the distance sensor with a sound sensor. We can use more advanced modules to create sophisticated behaviors. In this case, let's count the number of times I snap my fingers. We can do this with a counter and a number module. To examine the approachability of MakerWare and to see how and what children make, we ran two single session and three four session workshops with a total of 32 children. The workshops lasted one and a half hours and switched between introducing new modules, open play, and design challenges. We asked children to build a wearable for Buzz Lightyear with two modes, an attack mode that shoots lights and a shield mode that activates a Lego shield. Uh, this is attack mode and this is defense. Children made this using a tilt sensor, lights, inverter, and a servo motor with Lego bricks attached to it. For another design challenge, children were asked to design their own laser tag game. He has the center and I have the receiver which he's sending what color lights. For this, children had to create two designs, a sender that shoots an infrared signal at the press of a button, and a receiver that receives this signal and lights up when wirelessly tagged. Finally, we asked children to build a wearable for a new game called Dance Freeze. Here, children built designs that played sound and flashed lights when they were moving, but silent with no lights when they were stopped. Children made this using a motion detector, lights, and sound makers. Using pipe cleaners and ping pong balls attached to a servo motor, this six-year-old boy made a wrecking ball superhero armband for his final project. Inspired by light-up shoes that react when you move, a seven-year-old boy made his own light-up socks with a motion detector, lights, and a vibromotor. The most common theme for our final projects was sports and fitness. For example, this nine-year-old boy made an armband that pulsed lights and sounds according to his heart rate. Some children brought in their own objects to customize. This nine-year-old girl built a smart lacrosse stick. So I used my lacrosse stick and I made a thing that would detect if someone was about to check me to try to get the ball. And this nine-year-old boy built an e-textile vest that wirelessly controlled his Pokemon doll using infrared senders and receivers. I'm pointing to the of the receiver and I think I'm going to activate something on this one. It says it to this one and it activates something else. Finally, perhaps the most sophisticated design was by this 11-year-old boy who made a fitness tracker that counted steps and rewarded step counts above 900 with flashing lights and sound. 
Um, this whenever you get to 900, it, it starts beeping and like making noises and flashy lights and stuff. There we go. Yeah.